hello and welcome to KL Central. This is Malaysia's largest railway station and this is a major transport hub in Kuala Lumpur and also Malaysia. So currently we are in the middle of this area. If you ever do plan on coming to Kuala Lumpur, you're most likely going to end up over here. So today we're going to just have a little tour around this central station, give you some valuable information. So whenever you do come to Kuala Lumpur or you just want to see this place, I got you covered. So let me just show you real quick. Okay, so we have a KLI Transit train over here and also they have a Transit Express. So you're probably wondering like, what's the difference? So this one over here will take you directly to the airport, but if you want to transit through the airport to another city, like for example, there's one city called Putrajaya, you could do it over here. They have a few stops at the airport. Hello, hi guys. And basically what happens is, both of the tickets are the same price. So this ticket over here is gonna be 55 ringgit per person. They do have some family deals. I heard for two adults and two children, it's gonna be 100. And depending on having additional people, it's gonna be different prices. So you can see the website to see the exact price. It's gonna take 40 minutes, but if you wanna go directly to the express train, it's gonna take 33 minutes. It's a little bit less time, like seven minutes difference. It's not a big difference. And they do have different timetables too. It does not run 24 seven as well. So just let you know. And let me just walk you around the station a little bit. So we have Burger King over here. Coming from the airport, I would advise you guys, go here first. You just take the fast train, it takes like 40 minutes. And then you could, you're directly connected to like the main metro lines over here. Over here is the LRT line over here. Just behind us over there, you could go to the monorail, which I'll show you in just a bit. That's also the way to go through the central downtown area. And also they have a mall just right over there. KTM too, commuter. So they have a lot of different metro lines over here. Here's the information desk. And then if you want to go, say for example, if you want to go to some other place in Malaysia, you can go up over here on the stairs, which I'll just show you right over here. Go up on the stairs and you buy tickets. Malaysia has a large railway station network that you can go all around Malaysia by just taking the railway and it's not that expensive. For example, I just bought a ticket to go to Ipoh. I'll be going there in the next few days which is a city about like three hours away and I only paid 40 ringgit, which is about less than $10 USD. And the trains are fast and efficient. I never took the train, but from what I heard, it's really nice. And then they have a lot of convenience stores over here too. So if you're about to take the train, they got you covered. You get some sandwiches, some stuff. You can just see the prices over here. 7-Eleven over there, they have my newsstand. So they have a lot of different convenience stores. They have McDonald's. Okay. And if you have any questions about coming to KL Central, please let me know. I'm pretty knowledgeable because I've been in Malaysia now for a few months, so I know all about it and I don't live too far from here. Okay, so I'm showing you the central area of the central station. And also I want to tell you, if you want to go to the airport for a cheaper price for like 15 ringgit, you can take the bus. But the bus, depending on traffic, is going to take you from here, the central part of Kuala Lumpur, from central station to the airport. It's going to take you about an hour and a half. I advise you guys, if you're not on a budget, take the KLIA Express or Transit. It's a lot faster, more efficient, and if you're running low on time to get to the airport, it's the way to go. So right over here, it says, welcome to NU Central. So New Central, this is actually a gigantic shopping mall. So we're gonna go up real quick, but let me just show you real quick. If you do wanna take the bus, hi. If you do wanna take the bus, it's just right down here. So getting off the bus, or getting on the bus, you're gonna be going down over there and then this is where you can purchase the bus tickets. Actually, before we go to the mall, let me go down and just show you where to get your bus tickets, just in case if you wanna take the bus. The buses are right over here. This is the loading and unloading place. Let me just show you real quick the ticket prices. See, people are loading up to go to the airport right now. So you probably want to, what's KLIA2, KLIA, that's just the different terminals. And you see it costs 15 RM for an adult, and this is just the different prices. Child 10 RM, see over there. And one USD to Malaysian ringgit is, it's one dollar, about approximately four point something. I'll put it up on the screen just to let you know. And then they have different bus services over here too. But do be warned that depending on traffic, sometimes traffic in Malaysia can be horrible, unfortunately, especially in Kuala Lumpur. So travel accordingly. Okay, we're back to the central part of the station. Welcome to NU Central. Also, if you want to go to the monorail in the middle of the city, this is how you're going to go to the monorail. You have to go through the mall and then you go to the monorail. 
and they have a lot of different food choices. This is actually a massive mall too. They love malls and the Kuala Lumpur. And if you want to see some malls, how do they look like, please come to my channel. And I made a lot of mall videos here in Kuala Lumpur. They have one of the world's largest malls. Just let me give you a glimpse of like how big their malls are. The big Apple, donuts and coffee, Yamazaki. They have some like pastries over here. Let me just show you some of the pastries, how it looks like. They have famous almost cookies, which I just made a little YouTube short about that. Also on TikTok too, so don't forget to follow me guys. This is, oh, there's three security guards. Will they stop me filming or not? Let me see. I love it, they're so chill over here, they don't care. In other places, they're like, oh, we can't record here. But look how big this mall is, guys. Look at all these levels. We're like, I think on the first floor, no, we're at the sea level, which I don't understand. And then the next level, I think is one, two, three, four, and there might be five. And then there's also one level, there's two levels down below. There's a grocery store over there, and then, yeah. See, it's pretty massive. They have Ronald McDonald's here too. McDonald's at level four. Over right, here is a little more open area to give you more of a glimpse of the mall. So over here, a lot of the malls here in Malaysia, I don't know why, or I've noticed in Kuala Lumpur, at the bottom central level, they always have like an open space that usually they have some special events or something happening. See right now, they have some chairs and some stuff. They're setting up for an event, but I'm not sure what it's all about. But look at all these different stores they have. They have Watson's over there, which is like a pharmacy store, glasses store. They have everything you need over here. And of course, they have a lot of these little kiosks. So let's walk a little bit more through the mall, and I'm gonna show you where the monorail station is at. And also, keep in mind, this mall is right next to Little India. So if you ever do wanna to go to Little India in Kuala Lumpur, just go to KL Central Station, and you'll end up being in this one area called Little India. Also, it's called Brickfields as well. Sephora for the ladies. It's never going down. And in order to take the public transportation over here, just in case if you don't know, that there are two different main methods. The first method is you have to buy a coin, either buy it from the people that work at the station, or the second main method is, actually there's three. You could also buy it from a machine, the machine's operating, or third is just buy a card. If you wanna save money on public transportation, if you plan on staying here for a few days or more, I would advise you to go to the public transportation area and purchase MetroCard, which will help you. Actually, it's not just a me MetroCard, it'll help you for any of the public transportation. So now we are at the monorail station. This is the beginning of the monorail station. It actually starts here at KL Central. We are lining up to either get their MetroCard. Also, if you want to recharge your MetroCard, this is where you have to go. You can call it a MetroCard, but just public transportation card. Okay. Here's also Family Mart, which is a nice place too. It's a Japanese convenience store. Pretty massive too, a lot of drinks and you just see a lot of drinks and other stuff you get over here. So then if you go that way, you're gonna end up going to Little India. So for you to keep in mind, there are some money exchanges inside of here, but they don't give you the best rates. If you wanna get the best rates for money exchanges, you go to this one area called Bukit Bintang. I think I described this area of Central Station pretty well. So now you have an idea of like, when you come to Kuala Lumpur, you're gonna end up probably at Central Station from the airport. This is the main station and we are in downtown Kuala Lumpur. And from here, you could either take the public tra transportation, this thing called Grab, or I don't know, whatever way you feel like is good to go to your hotel or wherever you need to go. That being said guys, oh, over there's the world's second largest tower. Okay. So I think you guys now have a good idea of more of Kuala Lumpur and also when you come here, how much are things. And if there is something that I did not address in this video, please let me know and I will try to answer your comments down below. As always, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace, love you and see you later. Bye guys. Oh, and if you want to see more videos around the world and Malaysia, just click somewhere up on the screen. All right, bye.